Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video. So in this video, we will be doing the speed test comparison between the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max is powered by Apple A15 Bionic SoC with 6 GB of RAM, while the 14 Pro Max is powered by new Apple A16 Bionic SoC with 6 GB of RAM. On the back, we have a triple cameras on both phones. We have a 12 megapixel f1.5 aperture with a sensor shaped OIS. Then we have 12 megapixel draw wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which gave you a 3x optical zoom with OIS. While on the another hand, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a has a new 48 megapixel f1.8 aperture with a sensor shift OIS. Also, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which still give you a 3x optical zoom. Also, we have a lidar scanner. The back on both phones is still is made up of dual ion glass, and the frame on both phones is made up of stainless steel. So on the bottom, we have a speaker grill with a lightning port no usb type c on the 14 pro max but we could see usb type c on the next year with the iphone 15 series and both phones has a dual speaker so so i am really really excited to see that how is a 14 pro max is gonna stack up against the iphone 13 pro max in terms of apps opening speed and let's see how much the difference between the new a16 versus the old a15 so now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time let's see which one is faster so logos came up first on the 14 pro max and both iphones is running on ios 16.1.2 so the iphone 14 pro max is a tiny bit faster when it comes to booting up with the iphone 13 pro max so you can see we have a one second difference when it comes to booting up. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, it still has a 6.7 inch LTPO Super Retina XDR display with 120 Hz refresh rate. And refresh rate is goes from 1 Hz to all the way up to 120 Hz. Also we have a new pill shape cutout and you can see which replaces the original notch. Also we have a 2000 nits of peak brightness. While on the another hand, iPhone 13 Pro Max 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR with 120Hz refresh rate. Also a LTPO panel which goes from 10Hz to all the way up to 120Hz. Also we have a 1200 nits of peak brightness. So in terms of the brightness wise, the display is much brighter on the 14 Pro Max. Apple notch versus Apple chip cutouts interact like when you go to the mic lock, you start a timer. And you can see and the timer is goes into the dynamic island so if you press this it expands so apple is using this area as a useful area so that's a really unique thing sometimes i like the dynamic island sometimes i don't like the dynamic island so everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background so now let's start off with the phone dialer that is very similar also you can see the animation animation phase really really smooth on both phones so now let's open settings that comes at the same time so now let's go to the accessibility in the motion we have a limit frame rate also with the iphone 14 pro series we also have always on display let me show you how is the always on display works so so when you go to the display settings now we have a option which is called as always on so i enable this now this is the always on display looks like dim the skin brightness but with the next iOS 16.2 update, you can also disable the wallpaper and also disable the notification. So after that, the all zone display will look exactly like we have on Android phones, but this all zone display is not really useful. And I'll check out some more application, App Store with same Wi-Fi network. So the both phones open the App Store at the same time. So now let's see scrolling is pretty smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever so now let's go into the games again similar performance now check out amazon shopping that one is it tiny bit faster on the 14 pro max scrolling wise same result scrolling it is buttery smooth on both phones no lag no jitterness on both phones so now let's see Candy Crush Sega. 
A16 versus A15. So both phones is opening the Candy Crush at the same time. So Instagram, that one is faster on the 14 Pro Max. There's a pin out. Similar performance again. So let's see Snapchat, faster on the 14 Pro Max. So now let's see Spotify, similar performance, Subway Surfer. So the 14 Pro Max is a little upgrade over iPhone 13 Pro Max in terms of the speed device and you can see. So let me show the speakers. First on the 14 Pro Max. And here is the 13 Pro Max. And I feel that the speakers it is little louder on the 14 Pro Max. Yes it is. Let's see Temper and 2. So Temper and 2 it is open at the same time. And you can see almost exactly the same. So now let's opening up the Twitter faster on the 14 Pro Max this time. So now let's opening up this PUBG Mobile big game Apple A16 versus Apple A15. Both SOCs has an Apple 5 core GPU. So the 14 Pro Max is a tiny bit faster. And both phones is still will give you a smooth graphics with 90 fps yes on both phones now let's open Zedge and that one it is at similar speed on both phones scrolling really really smooth as you can see no issue whatsoever so now let's open this Geekbench 5 and Apple A16 Apple A15 so now let's run the CPU benchmark on both phones at the same time you can see the battery percentage 96% versus 69% so now let's run this okay guys you can see iPhone 14 Pro Max is done so on the iPhone 14 Pro Max we have a 1800 single core score and a 5500 multi core score and the iPhone 13 Pro Max has a 1700 single core score and 4900 multi core score so you can see we have a more difference and you can see we have a difference in the benchmark scores as well so now let's run the GPU benchmark So iPhone 14 Pro Max again faster. So on the 14 Pro Max, we have a 15,146 score while on the 13 Pro Max, we have a 14,516 score. So you can see we have a almost 6,000 difference in the GPU scores. So you can see the 14 Pro Max is performing faster in every single area and both phones is drop only 2%. So that's really good thing. And last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones. Now let's open the camera application. Camera it is open up at the same time. So we have a 2x mode which is missing on the 13 Pro Max. And a digital zoom. We have a 4K 60fps support on both phones. But with the iPhone 14 Pro Max we have this mode which is called as action mode. It is a stable mode. Also we have a cinematic mode on both phones. So now let's look at the phone physics camera. And guys, both phones has a 12 megapixel sensor, but we have f1.9 aperture with autofocus versus f2.2 aperture with no autofocus. So the front camera, it is improved drastically on the 14 Pro Max. So if you have any problem with the front physics camera before, now the front physics camera will be more sharper, more better. You can also now record cinematic videos at 4K 30 FPS, which is not available 
on the 13 pro max okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed i am seeing to for safari internet browsers on both phones so apple.com with same wi-fi network so let's see which one is faster looks like the 14 pro max let's see at the end who is faster so the 13 pro max it is faster 14 pro max it is also right behind there let's see the scrolling scrolling fees incredibly smooth on both phones not a single lag no jitterness same thing with zooming in out so now let's open samsung.com next website so the 14 pro max this time is faster really smooth on both phones no issue whatsoever so now check out ram management so both phones has a 6 gp of ram so we have a lot of apps in the background let's see who is performed good in the ram management phone dialer settings app store amazon shopping still there let's see candy crush saga instagram let's see pin out snapchat spotify subway surfer temper into opening up the twitter let's see pubg mobile zedge geekbench 5 so every single app it is available in the background on both phones so last we back to the internet browser which is also still there and guys all i have to say apps opening speed as you can see that and the iphone 14 pro max is a tiny bit faster only in games but in the boot up test as well as in games but and other than that system based application and low power application and that is very similar on both phones but in games but in games we have one second or a two second difference hardly so in terms of the ramage wise in that area both phones is performing excellent in the ram management which is expected also we have 4352 mAh battery size with a 20 watt fast charging versus a 4323 mAh battery size with a 20 watt fast charging support so so we have a little smaller battery on the 14 pro max so and cast over i have to say regarding the 14 pro max versus the 13 pro max so if you have a iphone 13 pro max and if you are looking to upgrade on the 14 pro max in terms of the speed wise in terms of the camera wise i would say not a big difference but only difference you see is in the display area like you have a new look from the front and other that i don't see a big upgrade so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this video so leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos like this and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out